I've resigned as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. I love the Raiders and do not want to be a distraction. Thank you to all the players, coaches, staff, and fans of Raider Nation. I'm sorry I never meant to hurt anyone. Raiders owner Mark Davis adding, I have accepted John Gruden's resignation as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. Interesting timing. These emails were sent while John Gruden was working for ESPN as a lead analyst for Monday Night Football and his resignation announced during Monday Night Football last night. Keyshawn is getting set to join us right now. Obviously, he just finished his radio show. He played with a unique perspective, playing two years under John Gruden. We will get to him momentarily. Welcome into First Take. Thank you for being here. I'm Molly Karam Rose, Stephen A. Smith. I'll start with you, Stephen A., as Keyshawn gets set here. Yes. What's your reaction to all of this? Because this was shocking. As I was watching the game, it was really coming down throughout and at halftime. Oh, yeah. Yeah, by the way, everybody, like you said, Keyshawn will be here in a second. Just yep. changing. Walking just out right now. Radio, yep. Just finished doing his radio show. Um, I got to get this out of my ear, so much statics in my ear right now. <clears throat> to say that this is stunning doesn't even begin to describe uh, what this situation is. Yeah. Um, let me get this out of the way first. Real quick, Keyshawn is here. Good morning. Thank here. you for being What's with us. Oh, Thank yeah. you What's for the happening? hustle. Sure. No problem. And grateful to have you. Yeah, absolutely grateful. Thanks a lot. Um, to say that this is stunning doesn't even begin to describe how we all should feel right now. A um, couple of things. Number one, yesterday, mm -hmm. you weren't here. I was of the mindset that John Gruden shouldn't be fired, shouldn't be suspended, because it was one email from 2011. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you know, this avalanche arrived last night. Mm -hmm. And you learned that it wasn't one email, but many. You learned it wasn't one email that happened in 2011. It was emails that started in like 2010 all the way to 2011, all the way to 2018. And let's get into the particulars because before I even say all of that, let me say this. John Gruden's career is over. It's over. There's certain things that we are the land of second chances. Mm -hmm. People make mistakes all the time, and we get all of that. But I cannot imagine even a white male with influence and connections and some degree of power that can overcome what the New York Times reported and what we all now know. John Gruden made racially insensitive comments about DeMora Smith, the executive director of the Players Association. And you have a plethora of people in this country that felt that should have been enough. Then we learned that he was against the NFL uh, bringing in a guy like Michael Sam, saying over, via emails that the commissioner should not be encouraging then, uh, then Rams coach Jeff Fisher to... to, to to draft queers. Then he sat up there and after all of that, what did he say after that? He goes off, he calls the commissioner the P word. He calls the vice president of the United States the P word. He's against women being officials in the National Football League. I mean, you're insulted blacks, you insulted women, you insulted uh, uh, folks from the gay community, the list Wait, just and went and criticized on and on. player safety. And criticized, I was getting, and I was trying getting to that. reduce Oh, the I wasn't concussion. finished. I wasn't okay. finished. I was saving I that. I just wanted to make sure. Eric Reed, you know, he said that Eric Reed should be fired for exercising his constitutional rights because he had every right to do what he did, whether people agree with him or not. The fact of the matter is you had a right to do it. He said the man should be fired everywhere you turn. I mean, he has offended, I, I mean, uh, uh, several groups of people. His career is over. There's certain things, particularly in this day and age, you don't come back from. And John Gruden cannot come back from this. So before I say, I want to hand it off to you, Keyshawn, because I think your words right now are more important than mine because you played for the man and you were consistent, like I said yesterday, even when I, at the time, I said, listen, he shouldn't be fired based off of the one comment from 2011. I made sure to point out that your words yesterday on your radio show, mm -hmm. before, uh, before anybody had spoken about it, your words, I was like, 
Keyshawn's been saying this about him for years. Everything he said on the radio, Keyshawn said about <laughs> John Gruden years and years ago. So your words were very, very consistent. And now they're prophetic and profound, to be quite honest with you. I don't see how he gets away with this. I don't see how he comes back from this. He hasn't gotten away from it, but how he comes back from this. But he ain't the only one. You Bruce Allen, you know, you, you, you don't have a job right now. Good luck in getting one. Um, you, you, some of these groups, are the, what, the owner of Hooters, and, and this little chain, this little click y'all had going, you know, sending these emails back and forth with one another. Uh, this will not be the only domino that will fall. It, it, it's never the only domino that fall. Yeah. I mean, it's just the, the start of everything. Um, I mean, I don't even know <laughs> where do you where, like where do you start with this situation? Any you know, you want. I um, I want to start here. What did you see? What did years you ago? see as a player? Because you've been saying this for years, and people were critical of you for having those opinions. I would say this, Molly. When when so when I was playing, yeah, I didn't say anything. Stephen A. Remember. When, when I was deactivated from the team and, and essentially sent home for six, seven weeks, yeah. I didn't say anything. I said, hey, I'm happy. I won a Super Bowl. I had my time. It's time to move on. I didn't, I didn't get into it. I let everybody else just say what they say. And then I finally said, man, this dude is a fraud. Y'all don't seem to understand he's selling you on something and you're buying it. He's been doing that for years. And, and whether it was he's an excellent quarterback coach whether he won the Super Bowl, which I'm grateful and thankful that he came in at a time and injected some energy into us so we can get over the hump that year and win the Super Bowl. But it's, it's the talking behind people's back. Yeah. That, was, that was one of his traits in Tampa. Everything, Stephen A., I love you. I love you, Molly. You're great. But, but as soon as I go around the corner, I can't stand them you-know-whats and this, that, and the other. I got to get... It. He was doing that a lot.